All right, Richard Harmon, thank you for being here. Thank Appreciate you for it. for having me, absolutely. Uh, can you tell the, the viewers uh, what you're involved with, the film Woodland? Yeah, so it's a, like you just said, the feature yeah. film Woodland. Um, we shot it about a year and a half ago, and it's about uh, my character Jake, who's a photojournalist in the 1980s, who has a bit of a substance abuse problem, to say the least, and he's kind of running away from his demons on the mainland, so he takes a job in a remote island on Haida Gwaii. And uh, as he goes there, he kind of finds out his demons, no matter how far you run, kind of follow you no matter where you go. So mm -hmm. he goes through that, and then uh, the more substances he kind of does, and the more he tries to kind of run away, he kind of starts going through these hallucinations, but you don't know if they are hallucinations or if they're real. And it's kind of a psychological thriller. So that's what I'm here for. I'm very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> One hundred yes. was kind of similar. Uh, yeah, he's madman. Yeah, he's fun. <laughs> that guy's a lot. On the hundred, he's a lot more charming. Whereas yeah. in, in, in Woodland, Jake is. Uh, he's not a very charming man. He's just sort of devoid of uh, any sort of charm or, or likability. What was the season three? You had that kind of. You're locked by yourself in that. Yeah. In that room, and you yeah. kind of had a little meltdown. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was a ton of fun. <laughs> uh, you mentioned Heidi Gwai. How you shot up there? Obviously, um, we didn't no? actually. No, I mean it was. Um, I mean, so for I our budget, we were a real so. indie. Yeah, no, yeah. so funny. <laughs> it was totally, and we, it passes as Haida Gwaii, but we shot yeah. it on uh, on the island at okay. Port McNeil, so it's like the northeastern tip of, of Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. and, and it passed wonderfully mm -hmm. for, for Haida Gwaii. Oh, really no good. doubt. Yeah. Uh, how long did it take to, to shoot the whole thing? It'll be shocking to hear. It was actually, we took 11 days to shoot. Wow. That's it. 11 just days. I mean, we were yeah, run, literally running and gunning, yeah. just sort of every day, just picking up what we could do. And it was mm -hmm. sort of, it was amazing because the crew, we couldn't have done it without the crew being kind of as, as dedicated mm -hmm. as they were. Um, we all just sort of lived the life of the movie at yeah. the time and sort yes. of like, and as, as my character would, and it was a ton of fun. Yeah. What, uh, what was the biggest challenge for you? Oh man, well I mean it was cold, there was no yeah. doubt about that, it was cold, it was like February on the on the northeastern tip, so that was pretty cold. Uh, biggest ch challenge, probably the shooting style, because of, mm -hmm. of it being 11 days, was, we would only get so many kind of takes to, to do something, we just mm -hmm. needed to move and keep kind of firing through as quickly as we could, but also you have to make sure you're doing good work as well, and exactly. keep your standards higher, else why are, why are we making the movie? Yeah. What was, uh, what about the film that attracted you to the script? I mean, first off, it was the character. Mm -hmm. He was, um, I think we've all kind of met people that are like him, that are sort of, uh, I keep using this kind of term uh, in, in interviews here, he's sort of like allergic to life. Mm -hmm. And I think we all know people like that, that's sort of, it's sad, it's just, it's sad to watch them because they, they could be good people, but, and it's not their fault, they're not bad people either. It's just sort of, they do not handle life well at all. They sort of reject it both physically and emotionally at mm -hmm. every turn. So I kind of, I, I, I had seen people like that and known people like that, even friends of mine. Um, so to read a character that was just so much like that, I kind of felt like it was a, a good challenge to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I didn't want to make him cool or likable because <laughs> those people are not fun to be around. Yeah. So that was, that was also a, a great challenge that was try to not make him likable at all. Mm -hmm. How long have you been acting for? Like, when did you start? 17 yeah. years. 17 yeah, years. I started when I was 10 years old. <laughs> well, here in Vancouver. I love it more and more every year, though. Yeah. Yeah. You, in Vancouver. You grew up in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who do you, who did you train with in the past? Like, what? I actually, that's that's a story. I've, I've never once taken a class or trained. No way. Yeah, it was, so my, my process was a ton of, uh, over 17 years, a, a lot of trial and a ton of error. Yeah. And then slowly but surely, I'm not saying it's like it's fixed or I've, I've yeah. figured out like this, the yeah, system exactly. or, or the, the kind of I've solved the puzzle. I haven't. I'm still I don't learning. I anyone really Yeah, does, of course. Really. <laughs> I mean, you learn every day. Yeah. But over time, it just, it, I mean, people started hiring me. So I was, I was hoping that it kind of, I was figuring something out along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Doing something right, yeah. I guess. Something I was like, this is going better than it was before. People are not chasing me out of the additions anymore, so exactly. that's good. <laughs> well, do you have any uh, advice for young actors or old actors, any, anyone that's new in the, in the game? Absolutely, I mean, patience. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know some people who have gotten into this and, and, and hit right off the bat, like my sister was kind of like that, mm -hmm. but she's a world-class talent of an actor. Mm -hmm. um, 
me, it took a little time. Most people, it just takes time. And then even if you do hit success, it'll it'll fade, and it's kind of the whole thing is ebbs and flows. So if you love it, I just think you stick with it and do everything you can to to be doing it, even if it's not on set. Like constantly be working on it and mm -hmm. just love it and keep loving it, or, exactly. or or just stop doing it. Yeah, if you don't love it. <laughs> if you don't love it, please stop doing it. This is, there's a much easier way to go about <laughs> life than trying to be exactly. an actor if you don't love it. 100. percent You got to be half crazy yeah. really to like, yeah. take it on. Undoubtedly. Yeah. Um, so you're a star to watch. Yeah, uh, that was pretty cool. What's that? What's that mean to you? What's that? What's what's going on there? I it's, mean, it meant a lot that it was, yeah. especially here at Whistler, because I, I mean, like you said, mm -hmm. I was raised in in Vancouver. So mm -hmm. to make a movie that, uh, set in BC and really the movie Woodland kind of showcased how beautiful this province is and sort of Andy Hodgson or DOP just shot the living daylights out of this thing and made mm -hmm. it look incredible but he didn't even need to do that much because yeah. BC just looks is it, it's, it's really a great, it's a special place it it's really a great is. backdrop for sure so to kind of have the star to watch from from Whistler also in BC about a, a movie set in BC I think that's actually pretty special for me as a BC boy mm -hmm. that was that was pretty cool Exactly. It's funny, it's BC pretending to be BC this time instead of... Yeah, it's uh, actually <laughs> being itself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Well, uh, what's next for you? Anything uh, Still planned? shooting The 100. We're doing yeah. season six of The 100 currently. So that's yeah. been obviously a major blessing in my life that that mm -hmm. can just keep coming. It's like kind of like going to school now every year, but in a good, like a school you really like. Yeah, exactly. It's like going to see your friends after summer, summer is over. And your character survived this, this, this long? <laughs> he survived this long. I yeah. won't really give anything away yeah. kind of what's <laughs> exactly. coming up. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate and, it. And thank, thank you so much. Let me get a little uh, gift for you. Ooh. It's the last one, but it's our sponsor, uh, Backcountry Brewing. So reach thank in and... You. Uh, Keep your head warm on the on the mountain today. Ooh, I'm putting it right on. There right on. Awesome. It is getting chilly out there, which is actually feeling good. How does it look? That's great. It's a good color. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it brings out my eyes. I'm sure. Oh, we'll see you up there. See you up there at the, the festivities. Thank you. All right. Thank you.